A decorated general's retirement now hangs in the balance after an Army investigation found that his tweets defending female service members brought, quote, negative publicity to the Army from conservative media outlets. This all stems from a series of tweets that Major General Patrick Donahoe put out last year in response to Fox host Tucker Carlson saying maternity flight suits made a mockery of the U.S. military and the feminization of the U.S. military was out of control. Donahoe tweeted a video of himself conducting a reenlistment ceremony for a female soldier and said Tucker Carlson couldn't be more wrong. General Donahoe was one of a number of senior military officials who publicly spoke out. A few months later, Donahoe went back and forth with a Trump supporter who is now banned from Twitter after he trolled Donahoe for encouraging soldiers to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Of course, the military requires the vaccine for service members and discharges them if they don't get it. Our next guest, Max Boot, has been a senior advisor to many Republican presidential candidates, including John McCain and Marco Rubio, and has written a column for The Washington Post asking, why is the Army punishing a general for calling out MAGA lies? Uh, Max, thanks for being with us this morning. I mean, you've seen this report. Uh, it's not public, I, I believe, to this point, but there's a lot of reporting on it out there. The Army IG said that Donahoe exhibited poor judgment and did not reflect an army culture of dignity and respect. But you disagree. Why? Well, I think what General Donahoe was doing, Brianna, was in fact standing up for army values. He was defending the army from these unfounded, malicious attacks from Fox News, from MAGA trolls, people who are trying to bring the army down, essentially because the army would not do Donald Trump's bidding and try to overthrow our democracy. And now they're accusing the army of being woke, of being feminized. And in the process, what they're doing is they are really undermining the service, the service of women in the military. They are casting aspersions on all these brave women who are defending us as we speak. And all General Donahoe was doing was standing up for the women in his command and saying, hey, look, they're serving too. Here's a reenlistment ceremony. Tucker Carlson is wrong. That is not bringing discredit on the army. That is defending the Army, and it's a travesty that the Army is not standing up for a general who is defending Army values. I have found something, I bet you found it too, talking to Democrats and Republicans, folks in the military, that if you're talking about retaining women in the military after they become mothers, you know, it's also about preserving a huge investment of taxpayer dollars in their training and service. And in recent years, there's been this large bipartisan effort to make sure that maternity uniforms are available. That includes from Republican Michael Waltz, who is the first Green Beret to serve in Congress. Here's what he said back in 2020 on CNN. The number one duty of Congress, in our view, is to take care of, uh, of our military. That's men and women. This was really brought forward to me by an Air Force major I have on my staff. She's a mom of five kids. And to your point, it's a tremendous expense. But also, when we see these experience, she's an Air Force cyber warrior. We need her to stay in the military and to continue to serve. And, you know, as they're trying to have a family, deal with deployments, and that they shouldn't have to deal with these additional expenses. So I'm really proud to work with Representative Holland, despite what you see on the news all the time we can come together, we do come together, and particularly when it comes to supporting our military. President Trump signed a maternity uniform loan program into law, and the message with that, Max, was to women that you belong. I wonder what you think the message to women is with this IG report. Well, it's sending a very negative message. It's basically sending a message not just to, to women, but to everybody in the military. Don't stand up to these MAGA lies and attacks don't defend your force, otherwise you're going to be punished for it. And I think that, it, that, that does send a negative message to women in the military, for sure, but it also sends a negative message to everybody else. I think it is very demoralizing. And, you know, since my column came out, Beyond, I've just seen a deluge of commentary on Twitter and elsewhere from a lot of folks in the military who are saying, what the hell is the Army thinking? They need to get this right. They need to make clear that General Dono did not do anything wrong. The, the Army IG didn't approve clearly of what they felt was General Donahoe's snark in some cases. Do they have a point? Oh, come on. This is just such mild snark by the, by the standards of Twitter. It's so ridiculous when he's facing these extremist, off-the-wall, crazy attacks on the Army. A little snark, okay. Maybe he shouldn't have done that, but that is such a minor 
minor thing, he does not deserve to be called out in the way he has been by the Army Inspector General. Max, it's great to have you on. Thank you so much this morning for the conversation. Thank you.